Hello everyone, happy Winter's Day and welcome back to another Guild Wars 2 patch preview. I'm in Lion's Arch, look at that snow globe, to talk you through the Merry Winter's Day game update. Um, we're back, it's winter time again, we've got the Toy Apocalypse uh, with ticks. Um, a lot of these same events from last year are back. Um, there is the Toy Apocalypse event itself, there's the Winter Wonderland Jumping Puzzle and I will put a link to the one that we did last year in the description or somewhere in this video for you to check out and go on that if you're struggling or whatever. Um, Bell Choirs are back, Snowball Mayhem is back, uh, the Infinitinarium thing where you're going to help ticks, that's all there again. Um, there's the way to tran tran you know, give in all your uh, socks and jumpers and stuff that you get from different nice. events. Uh, as you can see, I am Christmased up in a red and white ensemble. Um, to get ready for Christmas. Um, another thing, thing this patch, there is a lot of class changes. My character, I had a complete trait reset, um, so I had to put my traits back in. I don't know what other classes have had them, but definitely if you play Engineer, you will be seeing a trait reset. They have changed a lot of things. I looked at it and decided I was just going to go back to how I had things before. I was happy with how I had them before. so. Yeah, we're gonna have, yeah, keep things as they are, as they were as it is. Um, the other big thing, as well as all the um, different traits and stuff, they've put in ascended armor. So now you can raise your like an armor s skill up to uh, 500, and then when you've got it to 500, you can then, in the same way that you crafted the ascended weapons, you can now also craft the ascended armor. So. If you you know you have the time, I'm not exactly sure how hard um, ascended armor is to, to make. If it's anywhere near as hard as uh, the ascended weapons were, which they weren't difficult, difficult, but they had that like you had to get a lot of various resources, similar to making a legendary, but not quite as extreme. Um, if it's the case again, then you will be finding that you know there is a lot going to make the full six pieces of armor required to. Uh, you know, to get yourself fully geared out. I mean, and the buffs and the, the, the stats, they're not, much like the Ascended Weapons, they're not a massive leap. They're just a, a, li a little leap. A little tiny leap. So, but they are in here now, Ascended Weapons. Uh, obviously, a lot is going on lines, actually, at the moment. You are protecting Doyax. That's cool. Do about that later. Uh, there's presents everywhere. Yeah. Oh, look at that stuff. So... There's the events going on, especially in and around Lion's Arch, if you're interested in the winter stuff. Ascended armor, so you know you want to be looking at it, so I'll be looking at it. I'm not going to make any promises. Um, I'm not particularly keen on the art direction for it. I'm not saying I dislike it. I'd have to get it myself, but eh, it's not very engineering, and I like my guy to look like a mix of Silvarian engineer, and this is more, mm, it's quite royal maybe, would be the way I used to describe it. Um... It's, it's quite really royal looking, there's a lot of like nice patterning and nice bits of filigree on it, but there's not really any proper, like, there's not, it doesn't look different pretending the class, so if you're, you know, a thief it might look quite good on you, but because obviously I'm an engineer, it looks less, so, uh, you know, so, but everybody has their own personal choice. Um, there's a couple of new things in the gem store, just to look at, um, and especially with the new, with the, uh, the, the full makeover kits, um, they've added some new faces. That's not the tab, but you know they've added new faces. They've added uh, a total of 30 new faces, um, like to the game basically. So there's three for each race, and then three per gender. So it's like six per. If it's six per race, three per gender, as it were. Uh, they look good. I've seen a couple of photos of them. If you're on the Guild Wars 2 Facebook, you will have seen them as well. Uh, they look good. They look in, some of them look interesting, some of them look better than others, but I think uh, they've tried to cover a lot of bases that are not covered with the current faces. Um, you know, for example, they've changed some of the survival ones. There's a couple where they have smoother faces with no sort of like nose area, essentially. Um, there's one, a really cool non one, and you should definitely check this out if you haven't already, where it looks like he's been like maimed. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me, he's been maimed by like, some, some some sort of animal. He's got like a huge scar. So, <coughs> excuse me. So yeah, you should definitely check that out. Um, and if you are a person who likes to change and mix up their character using that feature, you should definitely check it out. 
So anyway, I'm going to wrap up here. Thank you very much for watching. Have a great winter's day, everybody. I'll probably be back midway through to the end of December, and I'll see you next time. I'm just adding this on. Someone's thrown me. This is a little prologue bit that I've done here. Someone's thrown me the links to the uh, the Ascended Armor. So I'm just going to quickly bring it up for you now, let you guys see that. Uh, see that this is the that's the gloves, the, the stuff, the grips, uh, visage, uh, legs. That, that's the legs and the shoulder guard. So this is the medium. You can see what I'm saying. It's not very engineering. It looks okay, except for the helmet, which I'm not gonna lie, I really don't like. Um, so yeah, and this this is the uh, the light armor. So I was just linking this in guild. I thought you guys might want to see it. Um, mask breaches, epaulets. And that looks pretty cool. That to me that says mesmer, a hundred and ten percent. As a, as a player, that I, if I was a Mesmer, I'd love that. If I was an Elementalist, I'd be okay. That it's not very necromancy. Uh, so it's like... <sighs> but, you know, that, if that's what you're interested in, is this the... Oh, and the heavy armor's here as well. Uh, so, yeah, it's 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 a mixed bag. I, obviously, there is the option to transmute, and thank God there is, really. Um, because, like I said, whoa, that's a bit of something special, isn't it? So, yeah, there are the uh, center armor skins. Um... Obviously, if you just want to look, at, you know, pause the video or whatever, um, it'll just it just quickly shows you sort of what I was talking about a little bit in this video. Uh, it's sort of quite patterned, quite nice, but it doesn't specifically speak to me. But anyway, so thank you for that. Enjoy the rest of your winter's day. I will be back in two weeks. I have been Sandude, and I'll see you soon.